Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathix, and today I wanted to talk about the X Factor. Um, we've all seen the show before, and uh, whether you love him or hate him, Simon Cowell has a really good point um, when he talks about the X Factor. There's something inside all of us that we immediately know within just a few moments with a person whether or not they have that that special something that sparks with us that chemistry and um, and it makes a world full of difference it, it's the difference between an a great performance and an amazing performance and um, I remember Tony Robbins in a, a video I watched of him recently. He he once said, um, "Excellence, like if if you were to go like on a scale, good is like down here at the knees, great is like I don't know somewhere at the chest, let's say." And he said, "Excellence is like right here at the top of the head." But he said, "Outstanding, there's so little difference between." excellence and outstanding but it's that that little difference that makes it go above and beyond what everyone else does and um and that's really the way that uh that things happen um and a really good example of this would be you know whenever you met or whenever you will meet your significant other um, anyone that you've ever had a connection like that with, you almost know it instantly. Like you both know it. Like there's this, this connection there. And no matter how much you even try to avoid it, you can't because it keeps coming back to you. It keeps, it keeps nagging at you. Um, and so why am I bringing this up? So I recently, uh, submitted for a VA and, um, and in it, I I said, you know, I'm looking for someone with the X factor. Now, I didn't leave it really um, generic like that. I actually broke it down and I said, like, these are the things I'm looking for. And I spelled out, I, and I spelled out specific, not requirements, but just subjects that people could, could look at and say very quickly, you know, from a glance, like, yes. I am familiar with that. That's something I love, or I have no idea what this guy is talking about. So, for example, I, I said, you know, someone who is um, familiar with comic books or video games or movies or science fiction or fantasy. And, um, and the reason why I did that was because more than the work, because it's easy to find someone to do work for you. It's easy to find someone who can review documents and check um, spelling and things like that. It's a whole nother world to find someone who has the same beliefs that you as you, has the same interests. And even more than that, it's hard to find someone who who has passion and drive in what they do. So anyways, I put this out and the first few um, responses were really great. I got a lot of good repro uh, proposals and, um, and these were really solid people. People with lots of experience doing a virtual assistant job before. People from all around the world and Honestly, I felt I felt very um, humbled to see like all of these great people from all across the world, but I was also worried. And I told I told my 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 intimate partner about this because I told her I said, you know, I looked through all these people and I'm like I'm debating between two or three. But the problem is that I didn't want to have to debate. I wanted someone who, as soon as I saw their, their resume, their, their proposal, whatever, I just wanted to be hooked. I wanted 
I wanted it to be so, so moving that I had no choice but to pick them right then and there. And so we had this talk in more than once, like two or three times um, while we were waiting for more proposals to come through. And, um, and then tonight um, we were on Skype because she's like, you know, off out of country right now. And uh, we were talking and I said, hey, you know, some more proposals have come through. Go and check them out and uh, let me know what you think. And she's like, oh, my God. She immediately, she got on there, and within a minute of reading, she was like, oh, my God, this is the one. This is the one. And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, the first one. And I was like, I didn't know what she was talking about because um, I had checked, like, maybe 30 minutes, 20 minutes before, and this person had not submitted yet. And um, and so I, was, uh, I wasn't aware. So I immediately jumped on the site. I started reading and within the first paragraph I was already hooked and by the second paragraph I knew that was the person I was gonna hire because there was something that was translated in those words something in between the text that I cannot explain but it's it was the X factor it was the thing that connected the three of us and I don't know what the hell else to say it was it was just it was magic and I loved it but the point is um, you're not always gonna be able to find people who are you know d directly love every single thing that you do but you have to find people and work people with that X factor the passion the drive and oh and that was another thing so this VA how amazing is this so she a friend referred my uh, job application or job you know thing uh, to her and um, and she was so moved by the the, the whole um, request that she joined the site specifically to get my to, to to have my job and you don't know how flattering that was but but that wasn't what sold me honestly it was just there, there it's it's I couldn't even explain it but we had a connection from the moment from the moment I started reading we had a connection she had everything I needed and more and um and that's the way you got to feel when you're doing when 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 you're when you're working with people if you get if you feel hesitant at all if you don't feel that x factor then then something's not clicking right there's some intuition in the back of your mind that's telling you this isn't right hold off and um and especially when it comes to critical people who you're bringing in to your family or your business or you know your club whatever it is that you're doing like you want to make sure that that you share the same interests because as time goes on those little things that you didn't think um, were such a big deal will grate on you like a cheese grater until you can't bear it anymore anyways so I here I am rambling. So I hope this helps uh, any of you who are out there um, looking for you know people to bring onto your team, and um, you know maybe I'll do a follow up on teams because there's there's some an analogous stuff there as well. Anyways, until next time, take it easy.